Yeah, it's exciting. We've, we're prepared for it. Excited for the week of practice. Excited to get the opportunity. Yeah, you know, anytime you play a divisional opponent, you feel like you know what to expect, but you know they might have some wrinkles for us first game of the year, so I'm sure they'll they'll have a good game plan for us. Well, it's a good test for your offensive line, given how good that front is, especially with the player on the other side now. Yeah, one of the best fronts in the league. Good test for us week one. What do you know about your line now, Joe, that you didn't know four six weeks ago? I wouldn't say anything. I mean I know I knew what we were gonna get. When we came into camp, I knew the kind of guys we got in free agency and guys we drafted. So I'm excited about them. They're tough, physical, smart players that are going to help us. Why do you think Ted Karras is such an ideal captain? He's a vocal leader, brings you energy every day. You know what you're going to get out of him every single day in practice. And I expect I know what, what, what I'm going to get on Sundays. Can you describe uh, Joe Mixon's importance to the offense overall? And that's where it all starts in the running game. Across the whole league, every offense wants to establish the run so you can open up the play action and get teams out of their two high looks. So, you know, that's where the offense starts with him. Do you anticipate seeing more too high, especially early in the year? We'll have to see. I know we got really good receivers. That's how teams played us the last half of last year. We'll have to see, you know, how teams are going to attack us this year. You have a favorite part about like the build up to you know, like the last few days. Relaxing, you know, you, you you know the work you put in throughout the week, and then when you get to, you know, after the last practice on Friday, going into the walkthrough on Saturday, you feel very relaxed, confident in the game plan, and confident th about the work you put in throughout the week. What was it like going? Through, was that Ohio State game? Was that the first time you've been back since you left for a game? Correct. Yeah. What was that like to be back in there for you know after all these years to be back there for a game specifically? Yeah, you know, it's fun to see everybody that I played with. You know, I spent spent three years there and had a lot of relationships that. With coaches that are still there, you know, some of my best friends played there, so it was good to see everybody. Did you meet LeBron? Did not. Do you want to meet LeBron? I would like to, yeah. <laughs> Joe, I know you said uh, you, you assumed by this past weekend you'd be 100% close to it. How do you feel right now? Feeling really good. Throwing it the way I want to throw it, hit all my speed numbers, getting stronger in the weight room, feel really good. Are you excited to put this offense on display? I know a lot of it will look like last year, but just to get back out there and kind of show the league who you are this season. Yeah, we're excited to show the work we put in. We have a lot of hardworking players that put in a lot of work throughout the offseason, improve their bodies, their minds, all the above to go and play well this season. So I'm excited to show it. Have you reached that, whatever it was, speed number or whatever it was, that shows you that you're 100%? I know you mentioned that. Good yeah. to go. What's this speed number? Good to go. <laughs> How has uh, T. Higgins looked to you this training camp and kind of given what he went through last week? Um, how much are you looking forward to him being able to kind of go out there on Sunday and you know, just have that experience for him and kind of forget about everything that's going on? Yeah, I know, I know what we're going to get out of T. And I'm not going to speak on you know, his, his matters, but I know that you know, since he's been back, he's been working hard. Great guy to have in the locker room, as always. And so I'm sure he's excited to get out there. Are you excited about or uncertain about how all of your weapons are going to pan out this year and how you're going to use them? No. I mean, you have, no, you, you have a pretty good sense of how each one's going to be used and what you think they're going to be at yeah. the end of the year. OK. Yeah. <laughs> no, no preseason action this year, none as a rookie, only three snaps last year, none in college. Just, is there a, a rush shaking off period in an opener? Is there a point where, I mean, is it hit the ground running, or is there a point where it kind of takes a drive or two to kind of really feel like yourself? You know, that's that's why you practice all week really hard. You know, you want to get all those, you know, you don't want the pregame jitters. You don't, you want to hit the ground running in, in game one. So that comes with the work in practice and individual drill and team periods. You got to get all that out during the week. Openers are, are, are exhausting anyway it seems like it takes forever to get to the opener and then you have a division opponent at home uh, stakes higher anytime you have a divisional game you know it counts as counts as two in the standings and so anytime you, you play the the Steelers the Ravens or the Browns you know you're gonna you're gonna want to get that one Joe do you have a favorite number or stat 
over the course of a season that you feel like really shows success for you that you that you specifically look to? Um, no, it's kind of the overall success of the team. You know, if we're, if we're losing, but I'm throwing for 500 yards, it doesn't matter. And if we're winning and I'm throwing for 150, then I'm doing my job. So, you know, whatever it takes to get the, the wins on the field, that's, that's success in my book. Do you feel like you, you took a step with your turnover-worthy plays and interceptions were so far down that second half of last season? Did you feel like you took that step last year and see that as kind of the player who you will be from that point forward? And was there something that helped spark that for you? I wouldn't say there's anything that helped spark it. I think I just started understanding what it takes to, to win in the league. You know, every game calls for a different Joe. You know, if our defense is playing great, I got to protect the ball. We got to run the ball well. You know, take the opportunities when they're there, but don't don't push anything. If you know they're scoring a lot on the other other side of the ball, I might have to take some chances. If we're not running the ball as well, I might have to take some chances that maybe I wouldn't otherwise in in a different game. So, just every game calls for something different. How big were the games against Denver like that Tennessee? Yeah, those kind of just got to take care of it for, from an experience standpoint. Yeah, I mean, we had we had tons of games like that where you know, maybe I throw for under 200 yards, but we end up coming out on top because we protected the ball and our, our defense is playing great. So every game calls for a different style. Just kind of following up on Paul's question about how you said every game is a different Joe, how long does it take you to kind of figure out which kind of Joe you're going to have to be and what type of game that you're going to play? Is it early on in the first quarter, halftime? Like, when do you kind of realize – all right, I know what type of game this is going to be. About a quarter, a little less sometimes. You can kind of tell. Do you have a favorite Joe? <laughs> the one that throws for 530 yards. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> is it right in the front of your mind the worst performance you've ever had in a win? Do you, do you remember that? No, I can't think of that. I could find it for you, but no, <laughs> off my head. Have you ever talked to Volson about your work? Mentioned it, mentioned it. I haven't. I mean, we talked about it, but nothing, nothing crazy. So, what's your impression of him now? Is yet? I know we talked about him before, but now he's on the on the verge of going out there against uh, against those guys. And, uh, you know, what's your sense of him? Excited to see him play. You know, he puts in a lot of work. Uh, he's earned his spot. Goes out there and practices really, really hard, and then comes back and studies really, really hard to come back the next day better than he was the day before. So I'm excited to see him play. You know, I think I know what I'm going to get out of him. He's going to play really hard, tough, physical. He's going to make mistakes, rookie mistakes, as, as with any rookie offensive lineman. But you know, I'm excited to watch him. Last year, it feels like we asked you a lot about Baltimore's defense and what makes them so challenging to go up against. But specific to Pittsburgh's defense and their scheme, what's them, what, what makes them a challenging unit to go up against? They have one of the best, best front sevens in, in the league. And they're going to get pressure on the quarterback. So. You know we're gonna we're gonna have a good game plan. I know our coaches will put in the work to to help us and, and put us in positions to to succeed. But you know it's on it's on us to go out and execute the game plan. And and O line's gonna have a tough job. I'm gonna have a tough job getting the ball out quickly and finding completions. Uh, that front is good. Is there anything you think about this offense that, that might take people off guard or maybe pleasantly surprise people once the season gets rolling? I just think we're gonna be very balanced, just like we were last year. Like to be 50 50 running pass. That's the goal. Joe, I know one game doesn't make a season, it's a long season, but what do you want people, fans, everyone to know about this team after this game on Sunday? We'd like to come out with a win, obviously. 1 0 is better than 0 1. You know, we know it's going to be tough, but you know, we're taking it one game at a time. And you know, we're not getting too, too far ahead of ourselves. We're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday, looking to come out with a win. Did you end up linking up with Harlow last weekend? Yeah, we hung out. He's a good dude. He's, uh, I'd like to call him a friend now. Was that surreal whenever you heard, when you heard yourself on the remix? Was that the first time you heard yourself referenced, like in a, in a song? Yeah, like that? that was the first time. That was pretty cool. Very cool. Did you ask him why, like, how that came about, or how, what was that conversation? I'm just curious. I did not. Um, one of the first, just when he, you know, we reached out to each other, I said, "Hey, man, that was pretty cool. Thanks." He's like, "Yeah, no problem." So that's that was the extent of that conversation. <laughs>